Welcome to section 9.41, matrices, day one. Matrices are huge. And the reason they're huge is because that's how computers, it's like this is bread and butter for a computer. Uh, most information is stored in matrices. Uh, like I can't, I can't even think of a particular computer example, uh, something that's being programmed that doesn't involve matrices in some way. Even just the little bits of memory that are stored that are on a computer chip are can be organized in terms of rows and columns. Uh, so our understanding of matrices is really incredibly important if you want to have anything to do with computers. And in fact, uh, that's this is this what we're going to do by hand is eventually going to I'm going to show you also how to do by calculator uh, is solve equations. Um, there are so many applications out there that are just uh, that if you can represent it as an equation or as a list of equations and give give those equations to a computer in the form of a matrix and a matrix and the computer will know exactly what to do with it it'll be very easily manipulable uh, solvable or very quickly tell you whether or not it is solvable or not um, matrices are how computers speak think store information and so we're gonna we're gonna learn about them uh, now in computer science uh, you, th things might be organized slightly differently but the way we're going to keep track of things is we're going to call them by rows and columns. This will be column 1, column 2, column 3, row 1, row 2, row 3. So row 1, column 1 is the upper right, and in this case, the bottom right is, sorry, upper left is column 1, row 1, and the bottom right is column 3, row 3. Um, if you want to represent this, uh, if you want to represent this equation as a matrix, as a matrix, good news. It's uh, it's going to save you on handwriting. For those of you who are like cringing the past couple of sections on how much handwriting there was, it gets a little easier because you don't have to write the x and the plus and the equals. Um, you can just write one one and eleven. One for the coefficient out in front here, the coefficient out in front here. This is three negative one five. All of a sudden, you've got a quick and easy way to represent a matrix. Maybe maybe you not think that's not too much of a simplification, but I mean. Look! Look how quickly you can write this here as a matrix. Now we're going to do all the same things we did before. You're going to be able to change rows if you want. You're going to be able to multiply a row by a number, or you're going to be able to multiply a row by a number and then add it to another number, another row. Sorry. Um, those are the rules, the same as before. We're going to switch rows, multiply by constant, and then add it to another row. Our goal is going to be able to put the zeros where they need to go so that eventually you can see you have just a 1, 1, 1 with zeros, zeros, and then uh, your answer is going to be over here. It does require that you line it up, uh, x is in the first column. We're, like, if, if, we're, if we're going to use matrices, we're going to assume that all of the column 1 variables are the same, column 2, column 3. And if it's missing, then that's you know you have to make sure you have this placeholder right here. Uh, we're going to assume that the very last column, column number three, in this case, is the answer, are the quote unquote answers. It's equal to a constant. And then uh, we're going to go from there. So you need to make sure your equation is in this format, and then you can translate it to a, to a matrix. And all the same tricks apply that they uh, that we did before. So, Uh, yeah, so I'm going to interchange this row here because I mean we just need a one. Like it's it's much easier to put a one uh, one x here. So we want the one to go on top. I'll switch these here, and so you can see this unchanged is going to go in the top. And then I'm also going to multiply. Uh, so in, this in the middle row it's one zero negative four five. Now we have in the top one zero negative four five unchanged. It just got switched up to the top. Then I'm going to take this middle row and I'm going to multiply by negative 2 because I see a 2 here that I need to trans transfer it to a 0. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 plus two, positive 2 is 0. 0 times negative 2 is 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8 plus 4 is positive 12. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 plus negative 3 is negative 13. Boom. That's great. That's how we get rid of this zero. This two here becomes a zero. How do we get rid of the six? Well, we got to multiply the middle row by negative six, and then add it to the bottom row, and you get a zero because one times negative six plus six is zero. Zero times negative six 
is 0 plus negative 1 is still negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 24. T uh, plus 2 is positive 26. 5 times negative 6 is negative 30 times 10, plus 10 is negative 20. Boom. Then uh, I need to change this middle row so that it's uh, a plus 1. So we have a 0, 0. Roadmap says I need this to be positive 1 next. So then you can see what I do is I recopy the entire matrix over and I get, uh, sorry, not the entire matrix, just the, the top row and the bottom row get recopied as I multiply the middle row by negative 1. So negative 1 becomes 1, 12 becomes negative 12, negative 13 becomes positive 13. Great. So now I have 1, 0, 0, positive 1. I, got a, I happen to have the good fortune of having a zero here so I don't have to that would be next on the roadmap but it's already given to me so I'm now I'm going to take this and I'm going to add it to the bottom one so, so I can get a zero here basically multiplying it by one and adding it so one plus negative one is zero um, negative 12 plus 26 is 14 and then uh, you see the 14 right there and then the result of the other addition is negative seven Roadmap says I need to get a positive 1 here, so I'm going to divide this row by negative by positive 14. Negative 7 divided by positive 14 is negative 1 half. Good. Now I'm going to take this bottom row and multiply it by 12 and add it to the middle row. All these zeros do nothing, and uh, 1 times positive 12 is 12, plus negative 12 is 0. Good. Negative 1 half times 12 is negative 6, plus 13 is positive 7. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take this 1, and I see the negative 4. I need, therefore, I know I need to multiply 1 times positive 4 and add it to this to get the 0. Negative 1 half times positive 4 is negative 2. And so when you add negative 2 and 5, you get the number that is actually going to be here. So why don't you figure that out? And, uh, and then... I'm gonna I'm gonna drop uh, an Academy Award winner, 1966, The Sound of Music. Uh, definitely my wife's favorite uh, Academy Award winning movie. Um, it's a lot of fun. My kids know it. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I would check the other ones out first, but it's just there because I because I know it's there. Sound of Music, 1966. I'd like you to start 91. Do the first problem. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna do this example. It's it, you've seen this kind of stuff before, so. Shoot me an email if you have a question, or bring it to class, and I will see you later. How to use the web and how to use the TI Inspire to solve, uh, to get row reduced echelon form, which is what we call this row reduced echelon form of a matrix. This is row reduced echelon form of a matrix. You can see the rows are reduced, and it kind of falls in an echelon, which is kind of like another word for a waterfall. Um, so here. What I'm going to do is I've got, uh, I like Symbolab, uh, Desmos.com unfortunately doesn't do it. There's plenty of websites out there that do it, but here's one and I'll show you that. Um, I'm going to get to the matrix menu. So here we go. Here's all the things that it can do with matrices. It, um, it can do lots of different things, including RREF, Gauss-Jordan Row Reduced Echelon Form. So it types in Gauss-Jordan for, for you. And then you can type in, see, I want a three by four, three rows by four columns. I'm going to type in two, negative one, four, negative three. I'm just typing right arrows after typing them all in. Right arrow, negative four, right arrow, right arrow six, right arrow, negative one, right arrow two. Right arrow 10, go. And what it tells you is, first of all, it gives you the answer, 1, 1, 1, and then 3, 7, negative 1 half, pretty fast. It even shows you the steps, too. If you click on that, it'll show you how it did all the work. It, it talks about swapping rows, taking one row, multiplying it by a number, and, and adding it to another row, and that kind of thing, until eventually it gets the answer. So that's that. How to do it on a uh, TI Inspire. So I'm going to use keyboard shortcuts and kind of stay away from the trackpad uh, A. So let's just do it on a scratch pad. Let's calculate something. I'm going to type A. A. 
and that gives me to a scratch pad. Then I'm going to tap this button right here. This is kind of a library, a quick library of uh, frequently used buttons. You can see fractions and, and exponents and all that. Here are the matrices, and I want three rows and four columns. Great. Now I'm going to type in two and then the, this tab button, tab. To get the next one, negative one, tab, four, tab, negative three, tab, one, tab, zero, tab, negative four, tab, five, tab, six, tab, negative one, tab, two, tab, ten. And hit enter, and look, it recognizes it. Okay, that's great. Um, let's copy it, control C, control C, copy. And now I'm going to type in RREF, row reduce echelon form. You see, it's italicized, like it thinks it's going to be a variable, like radius or rate. Um, it still thinks, okay, it might be a variable, it might be a variable. As soon as I type in the F, it kind of gets unitalicized and it recognizes it as a very special formula, RREF, row reduce echelon form. I'm going to do command V and paste. Oh, is it not going to work? Paste. Uh, well, here we go. Type it in again. Four, two, negative one, four, negative three, one. One tab, zero tab, negative four tab, five tab, six tab, negative one tab, two tab, ten. And hit enter, and there it is. Row reduce echelon form, a whole bunch of zeros, one, one, one along this main diagonal, and then three, seven, negative one half, which is the answer.